All right, this is the lake house in Tahoe. bunch of condos here this is a two-story condo here front door it's first floor area one of the bedrooms my son's room today so the kind of is a little dated but some of prime location Zephyr Cove it's got heating no AC walk-in closet that we don't need and then it's outfitted with stuff, certain stuff, inflatable tubes and stuff like that. Didn't have a pump, so I bought one. It's got some laundry. Some areas are locked. Um, I got my golf clubs here. Headley, you, you. That's my tool panel. The Bryant panel. I always look at these, see what they got, but they got the art vault going. Very nice. And one of the room lights was off, so I, I one of the breakers was off, so I just, just turned it on. There's the heater. So this is the master bedroom. Like I said, it's dated, but it's big. Jacuzzi tub we're not gonna use because it's usually filled with algae inside the pumps. And then uh, fireplace, we're not using that either. Master bedroom, kind of a little messy. It's our last day almost we leave. So uh, right off the master bedroom, and then you have lake views right there. That's because you know, they have trees there. I'm sure if you cut them down, they you get a better view. So that's our balcony, private balcony, or private deck. Close the bugs don't get so that's one of the things I'm gonna say is that both screen doors um, they're difficult to use there's a few things wrong with this property uh, broken and then they have a oh this is not the door one of the doors has a hole in it so I mean for the amount of price we're paying then the towels that they have are very cheap. It's like, oh god, yeah, we paid some good money here. Just to see, there's another hole right there. I don't know if you can see it. So, whatever, it's not perfect place. A little moisture stain back in the day, rarely. And then the good thing is this sleeps four in here. So you had one downstairs, two, three, four, five, then the master, six, seven. Daughter sleeping here. Kitchen. See, look. This is the second balcony. This has a little bit better view. And so this is a private beach here. All that is private. So it's called Pine Wild. So there's a little hose right there to hose off your feet. So this is the walk down to the actual <clears throat> private beach. There's a pad, there's a deck over there. I'll go this way to the grass. Hopefully there's no Karens. Tell me, I can't go to the grass. But uh, there's a walkway over there and that's that condo right there. 127 Pine Wild. So I was looking on YouTube to see what the unit looked like because it wasn't posted. So 
A lot of times copyright, I'm not gonna be able to post this, but I'm gonna post it anyways, see what they say. But it, it's it's a badass condo right on the beach and it's private. So in order for you to be out here, they give you a, a beach pass and they say, and there's a little pool right there, patio. And they say you can't leave your, your beach items. Take them down to reserve it. There's no reason to reserve it because it says a private beach. Look at this. You have plenty of room. There it is. Even this is right before the, the 4th of July weekend. This is what? Thursday. So the crowds should be getting here, but I mean, there's no reason to, to use reserve a spot. There's plenty of spots here. There's the deck. The dock. So, I said, you're steps away from the private beach. All these geese. It's just nice. Out there. Shadow. See it. So, that's it. 127 Pine Wild. Two-story, three-bedroom condo. And, you know, the deck's over there. I don't have to go over there, but uh, we 